how much sleep do you need? Well, the general recommendation is around eight hours. But the problem today in the world is either we have insomnia or hypersomnia, which means either people are not able to sleep well or they are sleeping way too much than what is required. And also in the times and hours which are not meant for sleep, which means people are being up late into the night and getting up late in the morning. Of course, unless you have a medical condition which causes this, it's a completely different issue. But most of the challenges that we see with the sleep are because of lifestyle, because we have completely changed the rhythms and cycles of our body and mind. We are supposed to be sleeping when it gets dark, get up in the morning when it's up, sunrise. And we don't do that. We don't follow those natural rhythm cycles, which are very important for the body. In fact, we see that with the birds. If you have taken a look at the birds, by the time it gets sunset, they're back to their nest. The moment there is light and sunrise, they are up again and do their duties. But whereas we humans have unfortunately disturbed that sleeping cycle and the outcome of that is a lot of issues with your health, productivity issues, health issues, and of course, mood disorders as well. And in fact, if you look at most of the ancient wisdom scriptures, they actually recommend a proper cycle for your sleep. They say, go to bed early, rise early, because your organs in your body actually have to go on a maintenance schedule every day. Just like we have maintenance schedule for our computers, for our devices and systems and cars, we have a maintenance cycle. Every night between 9 and 11, your endocrine system gets recharged. And after 11 to around 3, your liver, your gallbladder, your lungs, they're all going through a maintenance schedule so that they can get ready for the next day. But unfortunately, we are not following that schedule and we are putting our health at risk. So how do we fix that? Of course, self-discipline is very important. Have a plan, have a schedule. I know a lot of people say, oh, I have exams, I have deadlines I need to meet. The problem is not with the exams or the deadlines or work. It is the problem with the discipline and the time management. So you need to plan better so that you don't have to wake up late in the nights. If you plan your day well, you're up in the morning on the time, then you have maximum amount of time during the day to accomplish your duties. For example, I am sleeping by 10 or 10.30 in the night. I'm up at 4, 4.30 in the morning. So I have a full, beautiful day with full of energy, which gives me so much to accomplish. And on top of that, another thing that you can add is meditation. Meditation, especially in the evening, helps you to clear all those subconscious clutters. A physical activity, running, gym, workout, helps you to release all those physical toxins and helps you to create an environment within to get that quality sleep. Remember, it's not the quantity, it's the quality of sleep that is important. Thank you.